and playing close in Times Square was the most fun I've ever had being a cop. You know, that time working as a cop in New York City was like being in a fucking war zone. Man with a gun, robbery in progress, shots fired, somebody got stabbed, somebody got raped, somebody threw somebody off a building, somebody pushed somebody on their train all day long. And I don't care if it was a day tour, an afternoon tour, or a midnight tour. And it was the best fucking job I ever had. It was a Friday night. I got a call from the mayor um, about 11 o'clock at night. You get a lot of calls from the mayor. I get a lot of calls from the mayor, but you'll notice they're always at fucking midnight. This guy does not sleep, you know? And, and he said, um, tomorrow morning, I want you to be at City Hall at nine o'clock and you're gonna take over the NYPD as the city's 40th police commissioner. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning, you get all my guys, all my friends, all our friends. These are cops I was involved in gun battles with, really battle-tested cops. They had fucking medals up to their ears, right? They all showed up. And the fucking cops loved me. Why? Because I was a cop. I think I was a cop more than I was a police commissioner. Person transmitting the Mayday. Where are you, Kate? I just told you. If you look at the World Trade Center, there's the North Pedestrian Bridge. I think it collapsed when that partial building just collapsed. You led the greatest rescue mission in American history. I could hear the aviation pilots yelling on the radios that a second aircraft had just hit Tower 2. It was at that minute that I realized we were under attack. In my mind, I was trying to think of other targets that there may be. I was also thinking, at the time, did they have ground attacks planned? The mayor got to me about three minutes after Tower 2 was hit. Met me at Barclay and West Broadway. He's watching all this debris come off the building. And as that debris got closer to the ground, he realized that it wasn't debris. And he was, he was like, oh my God. Get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents, and you can see the two towers, a huge explosion now, raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way. Nobody thought the buildings would come down. We missed that by 15 to 20 minutes. Damn. Had we stayed 15 to 20 minutes, we would have died also. We got probably over a million, million and a half people out of Southern Manhattan over about a four, five hour period without incident. 